Welcome to Myrtle Beach Eats and Beyond, the show where a local foodie, that's me, attempts to parlay a passion for delicious eats into a useful video guide for other locals and tourists attempting to answer the age-old question, where should we eat in Myrtle Beach? Don't worry, I've got you covered. With me on this journey are my three progeny, that's them, who also love to experience new eating emporiums, raising them up right. We'll also be exploring fun, family-friendly activities and showing you the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts, the lowdowns and hoedowns of where to shop, play, stop, and stay. If you're lucky, I might even cook for you. And if that's not enough to convince you to subscribe, just know that once a week, I am completely wrecking my diet to bring you this content. Now, I'm not saying that you should feel guilty about that in any way, but I'm just saying you should subscribe. Today, we're taking you for a romp through Fuller Park, arguably the most perfect spot for family frolicking just about any day of the week. Back home, we had our pick from a profusion of parks, and as the mother of three littles, temporarily relegated to townhouse living in Myrtle Beach, locating a playground was high on my priority list. To my surprise, I found the task more difficult than anticipated. There are water parks, state parks, ball parks, and memorial parks, but proper playgrounds were tough to find using map and internet search. The best resource I found for locating local playgrounds was other moms at the one playground I was able to find on my own. Local moms have all the intel, but you knew that already, right? Fuller Park is situated right in the midst of Surfside Beach, a stone's throw from the ocean and the teeny tiny town center of Surfside's downtown. A quick drive down Glens Bay Road and straight across to Surfside Drive gets you there in a flash. Known as the Family Beach, Surfside streets are heavily trafficked with golf carts, dog walkers, bikers, and pedestrians enjoying the picturesque township. Unless it's chilly or raining, it's exceptionally rare to find the park empty as it's a magnet for families with young children. During the weekend and summer days, this is the hottest spot in town where parents can gaze at their phones in blissful anonymity whilst their children forge instantaneous friendships bound to last at least the entire length of the park visit. Hot spot it is indeed, but fortunately it's not too hot because the play area is tucked in perfectly beneath a protective canopy of mature trees, offering shelter from passing storms and much needed shade from the South Carolina summer sun. The entire area is fenced in all the way around to help keep the little ones safe while they play. A restroom, water fountain, and swinging benches offer everything you need for a peaceful day while the children play, and play, and play. Directly adjacent to the play area is a tennis court with room enough for two sets of players. It's another popular spot, so make sure to show up early, or you might have to wait for a turn at the courts. Just beyond that is the Surfside Public Library. On the other side of the library, the park space continues, complete with a memorial fountain and a rather unique feature we wish more parks would incorporate, the Life Trail. The Life Trail is a series of exercise stops along a winding pathway that stretches from the street side of Surfside Drive, along the library and across First Avenue running parallel to the Bark Park. Each station has a different exercise designed to work a different area of the body. And don't worry if you're not as limber and energetic as my little monkeys because Whee! tree climbing is not at all required as part of this movement routine. Truthfully, it probably ought to be avoided at all costs as tree climbing can be a very dangerous business indeed. I think my foot's stuck! <laughs> In fact, the Life Trail is designed with lower mobility folks in special mind, with different levels of movement illustrated for both basic and advanced levels. It's suitable for all ages, even for those who are working through rehabilitation or injury. We are working on building up our fitness level after a few too many years spent on the couch gestating and nursing babies. So we decided to really put our muscles through the paces. We upped the ante by jogging in between stations, partly for calorie burn and partly to escape mosquitoes, engaging our muscles hardcore. Ooh, you feel the burn? Yeah! <laughs> Look at those guns flexing. Woohoo! <laughs> and we added our own flair to our activity by holding brief competitions on creative movement style. In some cases, we ignored the exercise suggestions completely and just went rogue with whatever seemed like the most fun. Some of the exercises seemed a little simplistic, and I doubted whether I could truly be getting much of a workout, but 
My muscles told a different story when I woke up the following morning. I could feel the work I did in my back, my arms, chest, shoulders, neck, even my abs. My legs were also feeling the pain, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that was probably more from the YouTube workout I did at home later that afternoon. Another thing to know about Fuller Park is that 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. every Tuesday, starting in May and running through October, the area of the Memorial Park Exercise Trail is transformed into the Surfside Beach Farmer's Market. It's a hip, happening stop, buzzing with beekeeper's honey, bubbling with homemade kombucha, and a wash with sea glass and other crafts. You can find local farmers, produce resellers, and artisans peddling everything from jewelry, botanicals, and handmade baskets, to gourmet popcorn, cakes, pies, organic eggs, coffee, steak, hot dogs, and tiny dogs. When you're done enjoying Fuller Park, head east for a quick 10 minute walk, and you're at the seaside, where you can walk along the sand, gaze out from the pier, or explore a number of fabulous Oceanside restaurants. Head west, and in less than half a mile, you're in Surfside Center, where you can find more great restaurants, including our favorite bakery, which I'll be featuring in another video soon. So go ahead and get subscribed and stay tuned for that. Plus, more great videos about more local parks and family activities in Myrtle Beach and beyond. Thanks for watching, everybody.